Today is July the 21st. And this day, like every day, we are on a journey. In this podcast, we will include readings of scripture, meditation, directed prayer, silent prayer, the Lord's Prayer, and worship. Our readings come from the Revised Common Lectionary. We begin our reading in Psalm 138. Then we go to Esther chapter 2, verses 19 through chapter 3, verse 6. And we'll finish our reading in Acts chapter 1, verses 15 through 20. This is the word of the Lord. Psalm 138, a psalm of David. I give you thanks, O Lord. With all my heart I will sing your praises before the gods. I bow before your holy temple as I worship. I praise your name for your unfailing love and faithfulness. For your promises are backed by all the honor of your name. As soon as I pray, you answer me. You encourage me by giving me strength. Every king in all the earth will thank you, Lord. For all of them will hear your words. Yes, they will sing about the Lord's ways. For the glory of the Lord is very great. Though the Lord is great, he cares for the humble, but he keeps his distance from the proud. Though I am surrounded by troubles, you will protect me from the anger of my enemies. You reach out your hand, and the power of your right hand saves me. The Lord will work out his plans for my life, for your faithful love, O Lord, endures forever. Don't abandon me, for you made me. Esther 2, 19 through chapter 3, verse 6. Even after the young women had been transferred the second time and Mordecai had become a palace official, Esther continued to keep her family background and nationality a secret. She was still following Mordecai's directions just as she did when she lived in his home. One day as Mordecai was on duty at the king's gate, two of the king's eunuchs, Bigthana and Teresh, who were guards at the door of the king's private quarters, became angry at King Xerxes and plotted to assassinate him But Mordecai heard about the plot and gave the information to Queen Esther. She then told the king about it and gave Mordecai credit for the report. When an investigation was made and Mordecai's story was found to be true, the two men were impaled on a sharpened pole. This was all recorded in the book of the history of King Xerxes' reign. Sometime later, King Xerxes promoted Haman, son of Hamadatha, the Agagite, over all the other nobles, making him the most powerful official in the empire. All the king's officials would bow before Haman to show him respect whenever he passed by. For so the king had commanded. But Mordecai refused to bow down or show him respect. Then the palace officials at the king's gate asked Mordecai, Why are you disobeying the king's command? They spoke to him day after day, but still he refused to comply with the order. So they spoke to Haman about this to see if he would tolerate Mordecai's conduct, since Mordecai had told them he was a Jew. When Haman saw that Mordecai would not bow down or show him respect, he was filled with rage. He had learned of Mordecai's nationality, so he decided it was not good enough to lay hands on Mordecai alone. Instead, he looked for a way to destroy all the Jews throughout the entire empire of Xerxes. Acts 1, 15 through 20. During this time, when about 120 believers were gathered in one place, Peter stood up and addressed them. Brothers, he said, the scriptures had to be fulfilled concerning Judas, who guided those who arrested Jesus. This was predicted long ago by the Holy Spirit, speaking through King David. Judas was one of us, and shared in the ministry with us. Judas had bought a field with the money he had received from his treachery. Falling headfirst there, his body was split open, spilling out all his intestines. The news of his death spread to all the people of Jerusalem, and they gave the place the Aramaic name, the Aramaic name, Ekeldama, which means field of blood. Peter continued, This was written in the book of Psalms, where it says, Let his home become desolate, with no one living in it. It also says, Let someone else take his position. 
hear what the Spirit of God is saying to the people of God. Amen. And now let us take some time for silent prayer and reflection. Lord God, Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power, that we may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, You have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold. Pour out your Spirit upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now, Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O Lord, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in the giving that we receive. It is in the pardoning that we are pardoned. It is in the dying that we are being born to eternal life. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your grateful children, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and all whom you have made. We bless you for your creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. But above all, for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. And now as our Lord has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sinned against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let me invite you to join us For tomorrow's podcast, we meet each and every day to journey together into the loving heart of God. You can also join our other podcast, The Daily Radio Bible, where we go through the entire Bible over the course of a year. Find out more at dailyradiobible.com. Today's music was provided by the artist and composer, David Nebu. Find out more about his music at davidnebu.com. And now let's go forward in God's joy 
Let's let his joy be our strength, and let us always remember this, that you are loved. Alrighty, I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Take care.